So today, you're going to talk about a common childhood misteaching. Now, as we grow up, we are always taught that cows have four stomachs. Now, this is only partially true. What's actually true is cows have one stomach with four compartments. These compartments are the rumen, the reticulum, the omasum, and the abomasum. Now, each compartment has its own special function within the cow's digestive tract. So now we will go through the cow's stomach the same way the feet does. First is the rumen, or commonly known as the paunch. The rumen is the largest compartment in the cow's stomach. In a fully grown cow, the rumen can be anywhere from 25 gallons to 55 gallons. The rumen is located on the left side of the animal. It is a storage, a holding, and a fermentation vat. The rumen contains specific rumen juices that is a home to many microbes. These microbes include bacteria, protozoa, and rumen fungi. These microbes help begin digestion as the rumen contracts. Due to the contraction and the fermentation that occurs within the rumen, it has to be able to absorb the volatile fatty acids that are produced as byproducts from these microbes. To absorb these volatile fatty acids, the rumen has small finger-like projections called papillae. These papillae increase the surface area of the stomach wall to help increase absorption rates. Second, we have the reticulum, or known as the honeycomb. The reticulum is a small pouch-like pouch -like sac in front of the rumen in the front of the body cavity. Tissues, the tissues in the reticulum are arranged and look like a honeycomb, hence its nickname. The purpose of the reticulum is to separate out heavy or dense objects that could be in the feed. These could be bolts, nuts, nails, or even rocks. A common disease that can occur in a cow is called hardware disease. This happens when nails or other metal get into the reticulum and puncture the tissue. A common way to fix hardware disease is to have the cow ingest a magnet. This magnet is non-toxic and does not hurt the cow and helps prevent hardware disease. The third chamber in the stomach is the omasum, or the Bible, or many plies. The omasum is a globe-like globe -like shaped structure. The omasum has leaves of tissue that resemble book pages. These leaves help absorb water and some digestive nutri digested nutrients from the feed. Fourth, we have the abomasum, or the true stomach. The abomasum is the only chamber to have a glandular lining. This lining secretes hydrochloric acid and digestive enzymes that complete the chemical digestion of the feedstuffs. The abomasum is comparable to our own stomachs and other stomachs of non-ruminants. The four chambers of the rumen stomach allow these animals to eat fresh as well as fermented feeds such as corn silage or haylage. In any other type of animal that has a non-ruminant stomach, the fermented feeds would cause a buildup of toxic gases that could cause the animal to die. Common ruminants in today's world are dairy cows, beef cows, goats, sheep, and deer. There are some animals called pseudo-ruminants. Those animals uh, include alpacas and llamas. They are called pseudo-ruminants because they do not have an actual rumen, therefore they cannot handle fermented feeds. Common terminology uh, involving ruminants are rumination. Rumination is when a cow or a sheep will regurgitate feed it has intaken before and continue to chew it. When a cow or animal initially intakes the food, they do not completely chew it. And then during the rest periods, they will 
regurgitate it in a small wad and finish chewing it so it can completely digest it. Another common term is motility. Motility deals with the rumen contractions. The rumen contracts so it can mix the contents and the microbes will have fresh feed uh, to come in contact with and begin digestion. The stimulation from the long plant fibers helps continue the motility and the contractions, ensuring that the animal has healthy uh, digestive, has a healthy digestive system. So today I have taught you about the four compartments of a ruminant stomach. I hope you have learned something and I hope you will be able to teach your kids and anyone else the difference between four stomachs and a four chamber stomach.